Hello, hello, hello. So today, let us uh, do something really cool again with FF Impact. And this is, of course, a bit geeky. And uh, you might uh, think that this is stupid thing to do with FF Impact, but uh, it is not really a stupid at all. You can and you should uh, take a look at it in case you are evaluating FF Impact. Now, as I mentioned in a in a couple of my videos recently and of course most of my videos in general i use ffmpeg quite a lot in fact i'm recording this video using ffmpeg i can do live streaming use using ffmpeg you have absolutely full control over the kind of uh, recording or maybe lightweight editing that you want to do and it is very satisfying and because it is all terminal based it is nothing but a command or a shell script that you would run you can uh, automate right now, I use FFmpeg for uh, generating my thumbnails. I use FF, FF, FFmpeg for concatenating my videos. I use it for splitting a video. I use it for removing audio. I use it for extracting a audio from my, my, my videos uh, and also compressing, did I mention compressing? Anyways, so today I was basically recording our video and uh, that video was of course for my video course and that is why I, wa I wanted to uh, not make any mistake. But Somewhere in that particular video, there was some portion that was, uh, I was not really hoping that portion to appear. And I thought, okay, instead of uh, re-recording the, the entire thing, let me just, you know, keep on recording and I'll probably blur it out. Now, you can also blur things like a part of your video from a particular time to a particular time, uh, like a range of time using FFmpeg and that is what I wanted to show you. So basically what you need to do, I was recording this video where I wanted to hide uh, uh, a specific section, but I th thought, okay, let me just uh, not hide, but blur the entire video for that particular part. So you can do that with the help of this, uh, comma, this, this filter complex and filter complex is of course useful. So what you need to do, you first need to create this, uh, this uh, using this line which is, if you have been using FFmpeg, you would uh, be familiar with this concept. Basically, you have to specify the input. No, my input in this is 0, 0 v. 0 v means the first video. And I just need to uh, provide this crop. So basically, I want to specify the width and height, like to which area I want to apply. I mean, it can be like a small portion, like a small box, uh, which is, of course, not really possible easily to do with FFmpeg if, if the things are moving. I know there are some uh, applications that can do like intelligent blur, maybe on faces, but I just wanted to blur out the entire video. And uh, for doing it for the entire video, you just need to specify the starting coordinate coordinates, which is zero zero, but it, it could be like a small rectangle. So provide your starting coordinates here, X and Y, and then provide the width and height which is 1920 by 1080, basically my full video. And then I need to specify the box blur and 10 is I believe some value. And then you have to basically provide the range. Basically you have to provide it in in uh, in setting in seconds. So you have to provide your starting second 321 to 323, like two seconds. And then the output is blur one. Similarly do the same thing for maybe another portion of the video, blur two, and then you just need to overlay right and you just need to overlay this blur one with your initial video and only do this overlay uh, for uh, basically this time stamp 321 to 323 and then v0 is the new output then do again one more overlay on v0 and blur 2 and uh, you can see that okay the, out the final outcome is basically the v uh, which again you can map to v again basically the uh, the video itself then uh, you, have, you of course have the audio and for me when I was running it uh, without any uh, codec and without any bitrate it was actually reducing the bitrate significantly and because I initially recorded my bitrate with 3000 K and buffer size 6000 K I specified it here although uh, the outcome was a bit less than 3000 K which I'm not concerned about and then of course for audio codec I can just copy it as it is and the output and that is it it works really nicely and let me show you that video so basically uh, what I need to do I need to play this video for you and uh, 7.2 
and I will pause the I will not pause but mute the audio so let me just uh, reach to a point so this is the video and you can see when, I, when I'm doing this doing this, this export now this is the blur so I can of course you know show you how this blur looks like it looks really cool and of course I can because I specified the entire uh, width and height but you can of course do the same thing uh, there is again one more blur at 533 let me just show you one more time so this is this is cool right quite useful and uh, I thought I'll share it with with all of you again my I'm, I'm not really saying that do your proper editing in uh, ffmpeg but doing simple things like cut copy like no not cut copy but basically splitting concatenating and uh, enhancing the audio maybe applying some filters you can do a lot of these simple basic non-intelligent editing using ffmpeg and i think to be honest for me 90 percent of the times that is what i do and i'm happy using ffmpeg of course it is not easy you have to basically figure out these uh, scripts in the beginning but uh, once you figure out these scripts you can of course uh, you know i mean when i say scripts the command just make sure that you basically save it somewhere like in this case uh, it could be a shell script and uh, sometimes it is not always possible to like create a shell script easily because in this case i'm applying this filter twice but you can because it's a shell script what you can always do is you can specify these two arguments and based on the number number of arguments you can generate the shell script and that is a shell script for i mean basically the command you can generate the ffmpeg command based on the number of output because in this case if you want to apply this uh, twice the blur you just have to specify two uh, like ranges two range of range of time like starting time and end time and maybe you can write some kind of a loop and generate the command i've i've done that i have a couple of scripts where i'm actually generating the command based on the arguments and because you you can't really every time keep on modifying this uh, modifying this particular command to add more uh, inputs because if I have to apply this blur three times I have to add one more line then I have to modify this line and ins insert one more line so it can be a pain although it is not massively painful but still if you can save two minutes then save it <laughs> and that is all that is all I wanted to talk about in this video I hope I hope you found this video useful and you learned something new thank you very much Bye-bye.